Today, we are gonna be changing my monkey's dirty diaper. Alfie is hugging Theo, Theo is being a mother, and these two are my absolute favorite babies in the world. But what Theo doesn't understand is you cannot have the bottle, but what you can have is all, oh my God, the yummy good stuff that's in here. Do we have anything inside of here? Oh, oh my yep. goodness. That what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today we are going to be changing my monkey's dirty diaper. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to be changing some dirty monkey diapers for my capuchin monkeys, Alfie and Theo Jr. Alfie and Theo Jr. are two of my capuchin monkeys that live here at the Redland Conservation Center. So if you guys want to see us change their diapers, you want to find out if we find anything inside of those diapers. If you want to see the baby monkeys, well guys, you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into that. And we have made it inside and we are with our two adorable capuchin monkeys. We have Alfie Jr. and Theo. So we have Alfie, our baby boy, and we have Theo, our three-year-old girl. Well, she's not three yet, but she is just about to turn three. And these two are the best of friends. So one day, Alfie is going to be Theo's boyfriend, but Alfie definitely has some growing up to do. And if you look at these two, they're so excited to be with each other. Alfie is clinging on to Theo, and this is how you want these monkeys to live with each other. Monkeys are social animals. Animals and they live in troops in the wild. So we have Alfie and Theo on each other. Alfie is hugging Theo. Theo is being a mother. And these two are my absolute favorite babies in the world. They're so nice and so cute. But just like any baby, we have got to change their diapers. Now these two monkeys, we are waiting to feed them their afternoon food where Alfie Jr. is gonna get a bottle and Theo Jr. is gonna get fruits, vegetables, and monkey biscuits. And by the time we feed these guys and they settle in from their breakfast, I think that they're gonna have some stinky poop. So I'm gonna smell Alfie's diaper right now. <laughs> Does not smell like anything because when the monkeys have a dirty diaper, well, you're definitely gonna know. Right now, Alfie and Theo are showing affection to each other and this is exactly how primates in the wild will interact with each other. They'll hug each other, they'll groom each other, and that is how these guys operate. They love each other. Theo is hugging and petting Alfie. Alfie is hugging and petting Theo. And it's just the sweetest thing in the world watching these two monkeys interact. I absolutely love them. Guys, can I get in on this? Give me a hug too. Guys, right now, Theo and Alfie are just running around and playing on the couch. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering why Theo has a leash. Now, the reason why Theo has a leash is because Theo Jr. will actually run. She'll kind of run around the house and we don't want Theo to get into anything she's not supposed to. So by having her on a leash, it keeps her and my house a lot safer. Oh my God, you love it. You guys are so nice and kind and sweet. You are so nice. Look, you have a little baby here and there's another baby there. We've got both monkeys on my shoulder and these monkeys are hungry. They're telling me they're hungry. So we've got to make their food. So Theo's going to be eating some fruits, vegetables, monkey biscuits, maybe an egg. Alfie is still on a bottle, but in the meantime, we're going to have to pass the monkeys off to my mom. My mom is coming here and my mom is basically the grandma to the monkeys. So we've got mom right here. We got grandma Hello. here for the monkeys. And are you ready for your babies? I'm ready for my oh, babies. Oh yes, we got Hi, Theo Jr. And we have little Alfie here. So we got the two monkeys with grandma. They're gonna hug each other. They're gonna hang out. And mom, we're gonna change their diaper after. So oh my goodness. we're gonna go make the monkeys food and you just keep an eye on the diaper and let me know if it smells, okay? okay? Okay. All right guys, we made it into our feed room and this is where we do all the food prep for the mammals. So if you guys have been here on the channel, you probably have seen this room. If you're new here, you're seeing it for the first time. This is where we keep the food for all of our parrots as well well as our primates. So we've got all kinds of good stuff in here and we are here today to make Theo Jr.'s breakfast. Theo's hungry, Alfie's hungry, and we've got Theo's food all laid out and ready to go. So this is what it takes to feed a capuchin monkey every single day. So we've got all kinds of good stuff here. We're gonna start with one of Theo's favorite treats, which is cashews. We have five banana slices. We've got some papaya. We've got two apple slices. We've got romaine lettuce, boiled carrots, boiled sweet potatoes, zucchini, hard sweet potato, green beans, boiled butternut squash, and monkey biscuits. So this right here is a complete and nutritious capuchin monkey diet. I'm so glad we're able to provide our animals with the best food possible. So let's make our bowl. So typically what I do is I'll just start taking some of the vegetables and I'll layer the vegetables on the bottom. So we're gonna put some of the vegetables on the bottom, but we also wanna put some of our fruit on the bottom because by mixing the bowl every single day a little bit differently, it's gonna bring out the natural foraging behaviors of primates. Theo's gonna 
gonna come into the bowl. She's gonna search and sift through the bowl to get her favorite treats. So we're gonna load all of our produce and our nuts inside of the bowl. We got our sweet potato, we've got squash, we've got a couple apple slices, and we got our romaine lettuce, which I typically like to put all around the bowl. We've got our lettuce, and to top our bowl off today, we've got a handful of delicious monkey biscuits. Monkey biscuits are delicious for monkeys, they're delicious for people. I absolutely love them. If I'm ever a little hungry and I'm making a monkey food, I always like to snack on some monkey biscuits. So now that we make Theo's Junior's food, let's head over and make Alfie's bottle. So we made it back inside. We have Theo Jr.'s food and we have Alfie Jr.'s bottle. Theo used to get bottles just like Alfie and we still give it to her as treats, but mainly she's gonna get the solid food. So we're putting Alfie's bottle inside of the microwave and we're gonna heat it up for about 15 seconds. And just like that, our bottle should be heated up. Now we're gonna have to test it. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna twist it. We're gonna wanna stir. And I, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Can you hear what I hear? Do you guys hear monkeys chirping? The little monkeys, they already know that it's feeding time. The monkeys are on a daily feeding schedule. So he knows it's time for his bottle. The bottle feels perfectly warm. So let's get the lid on. Let's go get the monkeys and let's feed them. So we made it inside. I have Theo's food. Theo already stole a cashew and we have Alfie's bottle. But mom, do you smell what I smell? I smell it. The monkeys diaper smell really nasty right now so Alfie's drinking the bottle Theo actually wants some bottle we have all their food but the monkeys smell right now oh my gosh there was definitely some poop Theo you're stealing Alfie's Bobby you're stealing Alfie's Bobby I know you would like it but Alfie must drink all of his milk and you have a bowl full of yummy delicious food the best in the world so Theo's holding the bottle because she wants some so Alfie drank pretty much his entire bottle that's normally how much Alfie drinks and I think Theo wants some but what Theo doesn't understand is you cannot have the bottle but well, what you can have is all oh my god the yummy good stuff that's in here mm -hmm. so what you hear right there is the monkeys are vocalizing because they're happy and they love their food monkeys get really passionate about eating just like us people they have their favorite treats just like all of us for me my my favorite food is steak. For Theo, her favorite food is bananas. Look, wait, oh my God, it's a banana. And right now, we're gonna grab some sweet potato and I think Alfie wants some, or Theo. So Theo wants a little bit of sweet potato. I think so does Alfie. So, oh, and Theo is stealing it. So Mr. Alfie man, come here. Come here, would you like some for you too? And one more bite, it is so yummy, mm, so delicious. Alfie, would you like some too? Alfie would like some sweet potato, and so would Theo. So we're gonna let these monkeys keep eating and wrestle around, and I'm waiting for Hannah to get here to help me change the diapers, because changing two monkeys' diapers, well, that can get a little crazy. So Hannah just got here, and she is the mom to the baby monkeys. Theo and Alfie love Hannah more than anyone, even more than me, and right now they want the bottle. So Theo wants the rest of Alfie's bottle. Alfie, yeah. I think, wants the bottle. And they're gonna fight over it. Look, oh it's my so God, good. it's so not, oh my goodness. So right now, Theo is eating some sweet potato and Alfie is trying to get a little lick too. You can see Alfie is reaching around Theo's mouth, trying to grab the sweet potato. Theo doesn't wanna share. And watching these two is just the funniest. So we made it over to Cheech and Chong's new habitat. Cheech and Chong are in their crate. Now this is just temporary. The boys are not gonna be living together for much longer. Soon, I'm gonna be introducing China here, but for now, I wanted to introduce the two boys to this habitat together because they're comfortable together. So I wanted to introduce it to them together. And it looks absolutely amazing and we are not done with it. So we're gonna be adding some landscaping, but just for the time being to get these boys moved in, we've got our double doors. We've got our lockout for feeding. We've got our deck, our den box. We've got some enrichment balls. We've got an egg. We've got their other balls. And I'm thinking we're gonna be adding some logs here, maybe some rocks. This is kind of an open canvas of what we could do. We could do a little watering hole here. The possibilities are endless and I am loving how this enclosure is looking. But guys, what I want you to do right now is comment down below, guys, what else should I add in here? So now that we got to check out their new habitat, we've got the boys inside of their crate. It is time to get their first reaction. We've got Mr. Chong Boy right here. We've got Cheeto Man, and they have no idea where they are. Come on, boys. So we're going to let them out right now in three, two, one. Come on, boys. Come on out. So because these guys are moving over here, we're actually going to be moving Noir into their old habitat. Now, I would have moved Noir into here, but this wire is not quite thick enough for a Jaguar. For a Jaguar, you need thicker wire. So we got both the boys out, and this is actually kind of a bigger floor print than what they're used to. It's about eight feet wider, but only two feet shorter. So this is an absolutely beautiful habitat. These servos are gonna have a lot of space to roam around, to hang out. Cheeto Man is already hanging out at this pole. 
Now I'm hoping you don't make this a scratch post because this is definitely not a scratch post right here. He's coming to his deck and what these cats are gonna kinda do is they're gonna walk around, they're gonna smell, they're gonna explore because all of this is brand new for them. The boys are absolutely loving exploring their new habitat. Cheech went inside of his den box. Chung is over in the grass. And well, we're gonna head out of here now because Hannah just gave me a call and she said it's time to change the monkey's diapers. So now that we got to move our cats to their new enclosures, it is finally time, Hannah. You smell it, right? Yes, it smells so It bad. is time to change our monkey's diapers. It is the end of the day. So we're actually gonna be just taking the diapers off now. When we have the diapers on, we change them just as the monkeys poop. And since we fed them to now, the monkeys have definitely pooped. We smell it. So wait, why don't we smell under Theo first? Do you wanna smell under Theo? Let me see. Theo? Okay. Oh, yep, there's there's definitely a turd in there. And as far as Alfie, I'm not too sure about little Alfie man. Alfie man, do you want to go to your mom? Okay, so go. Alfie's going here and... Oh, yep, yep, there's definitely... There's, there's poop def in both? Yes, poop in both. Ugh. All right, Hannah, so I think we should start with Alfie. I'm thinking so too. All right, take so, it off? Yeah, take it off. Theo, All do you right. want to help out with Alfie? So Theo wants to help out with Alfie man. So we're going to lift it up. We're going to open it, and we've got our wipes ready to clean. Do we have anything inside of here? Oh, oh my yep, goodness. That yep. right there, we have some monkey turds right here. So this is what healthy monkey poop looks like. So if you guys have ever wondered what it's like to change a monkey's diaper, and look at the diaper, well, this is it. And we got to do our smell test. Oh, yep, Hannah, wait. Uh, oh, my gosh. So right now, we're going to come here to Mr. Alfie, and we want to be gentle, but we also want to get all the poop off. We want to wipe any pee off, but we don't want to rub too hard. So we're wiping, we're rubbing, and we're getting him nice and clean. So Hannah is going to finish up with Alfie, and now it is time for Theo Jr. Theo Jr. is here. We're going to lift our diaper. And guys, comment down below right now. How much poop are we going to find inside of Theo's diaper? And we're just going to slide her diaper off just like this. Come here, baby. We're going to slide it off, and look. We have one firm monkey turd inside of here. Now, Theo, since this is a firm turd, we don't really need to wipe her off. Let's see if we can wipe her off. Come here, sweet little baby. You're going to come here to your father. You're going to give me a hug. And as she's giving me a hug, we're going to wipe her butt. We're going to clean her tail and make sure she's nice and clean. We changed Alfie's diaper and Theo Jr. So we changed our monkey's diaper and we found poop in both of them. And we have to do this several times a day, every single day, 365 days a year. So that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video with me and my sister's two monkey kids. we got Theo Jr. hanging out with us and Alfie. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what video do you guys want to see next from us. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me or my sister, well guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.